as I stretch. <laughs> hey guys, this is Sarah Caracone, Live Free Warrior, sharing with you today uncut number five, topic of conversation, why I quit teaching yoga. Yes, if that's news to you, yes, I'm no longer going to be teaching group classes here in Miami. Um, this may come as a surprise. That's why I'm sharing this. Uh, I was going to do a long written newsletter or post, but this is how I like to share a lot of things these days, and that's via video. So I found this more appropriate to do an uncut as to why I'm quitting and why I'm leaving teaching yoga. A couple reasons, uh, starting out with, I want to leave on a high note, and I want people to miss my classes because they were good and that they connected with me as a teacher rather than say damn that girl needed a break or I don't really think she likes teaching anymore because I've been in those classes where people are tired and they don't want to be teaching you can really tell and it's there's nothing worse than being a student in a class where the teacher doesn't want to teach so I want to leave on a high note that you guys are going to miss me as a teacher um, but there'll be other things to come. Stay tuned because I'm going to share that at the end. Uh, I know myself too that I can get resentful when I don't want to do something. I'm like a little kid who just digs her heels into the ground and says, I don't want to, I don't want to. Uh, so I want to be able to move with that and, and be self-aware that I know that about myself. And that brings me to my next part that there's an evolution, I believe, with every career. And my, I started out in art direction, design, um, and, and visual arts. And then I took the leap, leaving the corporate world after about six years. Ironically enough, I've been teaching for about six years. Maybe that's my cycle. I left the design and uh, advertising world to take this leap to teaching yoga. The beauty now that I see is the evolution is coming back full circle and it's actually taking me to art and design once again, now in video and production as well. Uh, I'm gonna share more of that at the end of what's to come for me. That it, it ties all in and really the, the kind of content that I wanna focus on creating now is in the wellness, fitness, health and travel areas, all things that are related to how to travel healthy, how to be healthy day in and day out, and create longevity in your life. Those are all things that I want to be able to share with you. But I also need the time. Uh, there's only so much time that I can allocate to doing teaching and to doing this fresher, newer, maybe back to the beginning endeavor of creating content, art directing, and producing. Um, but I think like any career, there's an evolution. Most teachers start out and they want to teach any class they can. That was me, uh, let's speak to me. Then it became teaching full time. Then it became about doing workshops. Then it became about teaching privates. Then it was, I wanna do this retreat thing and travel. And I, I did all of that. Um, some I loved more than others, but also gets tiring and I got really, really tired. So I'd rather go with that ebb and flow of the evolution and keep moving with what's next uh, and roll with that. That's, that's yoga, you know? That's evolution, that's going with the universe and the flow and being self-aware of what's gonna ultimately make me the best person I can be to share that with you. Uh, in terms of needs of a student and needs of what's what's going on I really believe and have observed that there's a big shift in the world for more healing now right we've really kicked our asses with a lot of these workouts and sh sweating and burning calories shit that I, I don't even gonna go there with the last sentence because I really hate any class or if there's a teacher that says, here's where you're gonna burn calories off from your last night, I, I really, I check out. Um, that's another topic for another uncut. But I do believe there are plenty of teachers out there that can teach you how to press into a handstand, that can teach you how to flip upside down, and that can teach you how to sweat your ass off in any yoga class. Guess what? 
I'm not that teacher and I never want to be that teacher. I don't care. What I do care about is teaching you ways to heal your body because I've been there and I've thought that doing the handstands and the balances and the invert, that that was going to bring some sort of, uh, I don't know, coolness to my life. And it does temporarily. It's like, awesome. I did it. But then what's next? And it's like any other temporary high that we're like, what's next? What's next? What's next? I want to be a healer in a different way that I'm sharing with you how to heal your body from some of those things that you've done um, in the same ways that I've really fucked up a lot of my body in the past with eating issues, with alcohol. With, I've done a lot of dumb things. I'm a really smart girl, but I've done a lot of dumb things. And physically, that's where the recent series that we filmed last week, Unfuck Your Body, is ways to heal your body to undo, to begin to undo those things. A lot of people are like, I want to be able to touch my toes. I can't even bend over. It's like, okay, well, you've also been doing a lot of things to create that tangle for many, many years, that it takes time to undo that. Um, so that's where I think that there's a need for healing to learn how to bring a little more balance into our day to day uh, so that we can function. This all wraps up and brings me to my final note on this is what I am working on and what's to come in the future. And it's a lot of content creation in both film and both um, video film and written. So it's blogs, social media content, art directing, producing, and really being a doing my series, the Unfuck Your Body series, which will be launching um, beginning of 2018. I'm working on a book. Living Cancer Free, which shares a lot of the things that I wish I knew at the time uh, going through cancer. And it's not just for cancer, um, people who are affected by cancer or those surrounding them. It's really for anybody, how to take better care of yourself. It, it's, yeah, it's like my personal diaries of all the shit I wanted to know or wish I knew at the time that I can share with my younger self 14 years ago. So that's a lot of what's to come for me. And by me being able to have the time to express a lot of, uh, to express this content that I am really passionate about developing, to me that's true connection. I can keep doing yoga classes and pretend that it's, you know, I'm, I'm glad that it really still benefits those who are there. It's not giving the same back to myself. And that's where I have to be fair with myself and make some of those harder decisions to choose what's going to be a win-win for everybody, including me. So that's part of living free. The manifesto is knowing intuitively what is going to bring that happiness to you, following it when it talks to you, and making some of those harder choices. Right? It's not always easy to make the choices, but making the hard ones that are ultimately going to keep you going in the path that your intuition is nudging you down on. So that wraps up Uncut 5, why I quit teaching yoga, what I got going on next. Stay tuned here on YouTube and also on Instagram. That's where I'll be sharing and posting the most. Um, my newsletter is going to have, I'll put the link below for the sign up for my newsletter. That's going to have the, the VIP, the most up-to-date info there. Um, but I encourage you, whether you're a teacher, whether you're not, to sometimes question when something isn't feeling so fulfilling and do some of the deeper work to figure out what will create that fulfilling need inside of you. And if it takes it, what's going to get you to make some of those harder choices to take that leap and create your own net? Live free, bring it on 2018, and I'm excited to share a lot more with you from my heart to yours. <laughs>